Sheikh Sniko teaches us about Islam. How Islam change your life forever. If you are Muslim, if you are Christian, if you are any other religion. Okay, I don't care about that. But you know why I said that Sheikh Sniko? Cause he talks like Sheikh in this video. You can see and this video will blow your mind. If you are Muslim, then you will fall in love with Sneeko. Let's see the clip. Adam22 was confronted by a Muslim. Let's see. Let's see. Chad, do you think he has a, does he have an opportunity to come to Islam or is, the, is he too possessed by jinn? You know, no matter what sin you've ever done in your whole entire life, if you convert to Islam, everything will be forgiven. And it's like you said, like even all the little stupid stuff that you post on the internet. Great you know, dawah. I don't think you even have to take it down once you repent. Like once you join Islam, it's like you're a new person. That's like the big promise of all the religions. Though. Can someone tell that to all the Saudis who come up to me in the Majid and like, haram, haram, like touch my tattoos. Like, let me read the Quran for five seconds, Unk. Okay, Aki. I get, I know tattoos are haram. I got it before I reverted your past and stuff forget it. Why do I need to exp explain in broken English that getting a tattoo removal is just going to get like... I, I'm not going to remove him. I'm not going to remove him. No, Adam 22 does not have an opportunity to come to Islam. Inshallah, he does, man. May Allah guide him. But th this guy is really, he, he's in deep, bro. Like, he's not even just an atheist. This dude is literally a Satan worshiper, intentionally or unintentionally. I don't know. But he has Antichrist. He has, like, satanic figures all over his office. The stuff he's doing with porn. It's just, it, just re it doesn't really, like, he's a little, he, bro, Adam 22 is like a puppet for the Zionist Satanists. It's bad. But every, I think every soul could be saved. And that's all we could do. Because Christianity, I grew up in that, they're saying the same thing. Like once once you go to God, then everything is You forgiven. know, I'm not too informed to speak on certain subjects, but you know, there's this good Sheikh out here, his name is Sheikh Usman from uh, San Diego. He's like, he's, he, I don't know. Sheikh Usman's basement library. Chat, we're gonna do it. You know, some guy named Sneeko. I do. Me and Adam 22 and Sheikh Usman's basement, 24 hour stream, I'm announcing it right now. Uh, so I can commit murder and commit to Islam and I'm good and I'm chilling in heaven, says Henry Barber. No, because Allah is all-knowing. Allah is the most merciful. Allah is the greatest, the strongest. Allah knows everything. So he knows that if it's not pure in your heart. You think you can't trick the all-knowing creator, the most merciful, the greatest. How are you going to do that? But if it's pure and you purely profess la ilaha illallah, that there's only one true God and you show repentance, then he'll forgive you. But if you just think you're just going to say la ilaha illallah, like you're not just going to be forgiven. It has to be pure in your heart. Allah's all knowing. Don't think that you could, you can like grift your way into heaven. It's not going to work like that. Bro, this is sneaker. I can't believe that. He has now lots of knowledge about Islam, bro. May Allah bless him. I can't believe it, bro. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's it's all about the God. Yeah, boy. Wish because I'm a pro. Yeah, like I'm I one of my favorite Muslims. I don't I don't know what type of like I don't know the politics behind all these little YouTubers. And he stuff. converted like three months ago. Hey, uh, I'm not a YouTuber, yeah, but he be hanging out with that guy. I don't know if you see that one like Pakistani guy with the beard. He be hanging out with, and he be like um, getting on live with them, trying to t have him talk with like. JD. Wait, oh hold on, my bad. Let me rewind it. Wait, Adam Twenty Two said I could I reverted three months ago. Adam22, that's the shaitan talking in you. I reverted a year. I reverted a year ago. I haven't been in your podcast in about eight months. And even then I was talking about Islam. Even before I reverted, I was talking about the benefits of Islam. Three months ago, no, four months ago, I uploaded letter from Mecca. Five months ago, I went for my first Umrah. And that's where that picture went viral of me in the Ihram doing my first Umrah. That was five months, maybe six now. I've been a Muslim for, for a year now. One year. But do you see the reason he's saying, uh, Sneeko's only been Muslim for like three months, dude, literally, is because when Satanists have jinn in them, when they have demons talking and their tongue is possessed by the devil, all they try to do is downplay the, the, the believers. Have you guys noticed that by everybody on Twitter, all these apostates, these ugly looking, like these looking people? Like, I don't, but I, I, well, I don't even know their names. Like these, these people, Sneeko's, Islam is bad. They're so triggered that I'm promoting something good, that I'm in Medina right now, that I'm making streams in Mecca and I'm doing these interviews, and that I'm like talking about Ramadan every single day. They get so, oh, oh. Shaitan possesses them, just sneak on, and they can't, they can't help themselves, but just talk about me nonstop. Same reason why Adam's like, Sneakers just been Muslim three months.
because he just needs to downplay what I've been doing. Ian and all these type of people. Okay. Yeah, like, uh, I think he's from, like, San Diego or something. Uh, I mean, that's someone that's really informative that, like, I kind of like watching, too, that someone you could, like, get your information from. Mm -hmm. was the, like, have you ever read a Quran? No. Have you heard, like... I read a lot about it. But you, you hear, like, I always said, so many miracles and, like, how it's, like, found out stuff before science and how it's, like, written so perfect that, like, no human could have wrote it. Like, it has so many, like, what's that thing called? Like, plays on words or, like, analogies? I don't know, like, it's so, like, it'll have, like, one story will be, like, a specific number of words, and, like, I don't know how to explain it, but, like, all this coming from a man who couldn't read or write. Most of the stuff I've read about the Quran is, like, how would Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, how would he have re revealed the Quran without knowing how to read and write if it was not, per if, if it was not spoken to him through Allah, to Angel Gabriel, and to him? He, he was illiterate, and he wrote the Quran. How? on how it has like different characteristics than the bible in the sense that it's very easy to read the quran and interpret it li literally and to decide that the meaning of it is basically that we should no yeah i mean interpreting it literally adam 22 is that based off of your life and the fact that everything you do you pretty much commit every single deadly sin if you do not come to islam you're going to burn in hell and i don't want you to do that i don't think you're I think your soul could be saved and based on what you're doing right now, like worshiping false idols, every it's, it's, it's not going to be good. And is it really worth it? Is temporary. This is what I would say to people like Adam 22 is temporary pleasure worth eternal hellfire because this life is temporary. This life is very short in the scheme of things. We've only been alive for a tiny fraction of time based on how many people have lived in this earth. There's eternal time before we were born and eternal time after we die. And our souls go somewhere. It doesn't, we don't just cease to exist. We go, something happens to us. And the only thing that makes sense is heaven and hell. It's the only thing that makes sense. What are you going to float around forever? You're going to be decided on your actions now. On the day of resurrection, we're going to be judged for what we did on this earth today. So at Adam 22, is the temporary pleasure, is the porn, the drugs, worshiping false idols, the celebrity, the fame, the money on selling your soul, is it worth it to burn in hell forever? Or should you make some sacrifices now because your soul can still be saved? You could repent and you could decide that actually, no, I want to go to, I want to go to the seven layers of heaven. The t think about how amazing and eternal that is. Passing the test of this life because everything in this life is a test. That's why we have free will because God wants to see if we are capable of making the right decisions. And if we deserve the glory and the beauty of heaven, of eternal bliss, I want that. I'm, that's why I'm willing to make sacrifices in this life. That's why I go through difficult things and I make these decisions. That's why I think it's important to do charity. If you read the Quran, I was reading it the past two days, it talks all nonstop about how important it is to give charity. And you can do that right now. Projectiftar.org slash Nico. That's one of the requirements to make it into heaven is to give money away to charities, to feed people, is to help people out, to give good deeds. Zakat. And I'm, I'm making sure. And we raised $56,000 right now. All we want to do is get more. I, I, I want to continue doing charity, doing good things, making sacrifices now. Yes, I sacrificed that $20 million gambling deal so that I can make it in heaven 20,000 times longer. Was that bars? I don't know. Well, I want, I'm, I, you have to make sacrifices in this life because it's a test. Because when your soul speaks to you, when you get that offer, $20 million, $20 million, $20 million, and you say no, because you know something deep down in your soul is telling you, no, you should not corrupt your audience. No, you should be doing something good. Money does not matter that much. It's all temporary. It's all fleeting. It all means nothing. It's all meaningless. What do we lie for? 70 years and then you're dead? Who cares? Why would you take that risk? Even if it's wrong, why would you take that risk? You lose a little bit of money in this life to make it for eternal paradise in heaven. Because even if, is it really worth it to be burning in hell for eternity? I don't want to take that risk. He's not pro-Muslim. <laughs> Literally, bro. <laughs> you can see how he was talking about Islam. Bro, Sneaker is now real Muslim, like a real Muslim, bro. My Allah, please, Allah bless him.
should like you know kill apostates and people who aren't part of our religion and shit so uh, i bought you a gift i don't a quran to call my own holy shit all right so this this is the english quran maybe i'll read it i, I would appreciate it if you read it because it's a gift you know and i don't give nobody gifts like that from Rhonda. well you know <laughs> adam 22's hands are gonna start <laughs> burning when he touches the quran well congrats i mean that's that's really great mashallah and just lock up for that guy for giving the Quran to Adam. Um, Even Adam 22, your name is Adam. Your name is Adam. I, wallahi, part of me thinks that he can leave all that life behind. Your name is Adam. You are, you are named after the first man. All of mankind started from the, the man that you're named after. You can get like some research and I know like you do research on all these rappers and all this time. Like mm -hmm. you be having time, like if you just put like a little bit of time and just like, you know, like this is me, like, no, I'm trying to be, like, like, I want you to go to heaven. At the very least, I'm going to put it up here <laughs> right next to the box of whoops. But like, don't like, like smoke around it and do all these type of like I would be like, smoking in here. Uh, yeah, like it's, it's, it's like the holy book. Like, if, like, don't like, uh. Don't like uh, somebody just said <laughs> when Allah sees Adam, brother. Ugh, hey, no, no, stop. There's a chance, inshallah. Think about it. Think about how. Think about it. Think about this. If uh, uh, Adam repents and becomes a m m Muslim, think about how many m Satanists, the, the, the degenerates, are going to follow suit. Inshallah. Um, I don't know. Like, they'll be I'm fresh. I'm sorry. We love fresh. Yeah, he can't put the Quran next to the alcohol in the flashlight. Yeah. Oh, they should have put it in there. You guys with flashlights? No, no, no. But like, if you take it home, you can put it in like your little library. That was a good one. I was an honest question. Hey, like, you on your dean, but then at some point you got to go back home and you got to. No, you gotta jerk no. off or whatever, right? Or, or use a flashlight. No. no, you don't need to. You don't need to. Wallahi, Adam, you don't need to. I've been um been celibate. I mean, I'm just I'm not gonna lie about it. So you yap about it too much. I've been celibate for almost six months now. Um, jerking off is not that hard to stay away from. You you would think it because if you just turn your brain off of that and you stop looking at these women or thinking that you if you think that it's a compulsion to masturbate, you're gonna masturbate. If you believe that you can have self-control, self-discipline, guess what? Oh, no, I can take my hand off of my wee-wee. It's that simple. Just ah, take it off and you're good. Once you start believing that you have control over all your decisions and everything is a test, it's incredible what you're capable of. Did I think that I was going to be able to fast for almost 30 days now? Eid is almost is coming soon. Ramadan's almost over. Did I think that I'd be able to fast from sunrise to sunset every single day and wake up? For Fajr prayer, as soon as the sun rises, get up and pray every day. Wallahi, no, I did not think I was able to before. I decided that everything here is a test and I'm, I'm capable of doing whatever Allah wants me to do. Allah wants the best for you. And if Allah is telling you that this is what you're supposed to be doing and this is the best, that is the best thing you could be doing. So take your hand off your wee-wee. Take it off. Brother, uh, brother, uh, release. Uh, that's no. that's just like a little too down bad. You guys say the on your dean thing though. That's what I picked up from like hanging out with the Philly rappers, like, yeah, like listening to dean. them. Yeah, we'll be on our dean. Yeah, from them. I don't know if everything translates, but okay, it's kind of like a. I don't put the weed next to the. Crown. Okay, we're gonna take that. Put that right there. Mashallah. Oh, well, actually, it's right there. Yeah, I don't know. maybe I'll just move it right in front. Look at him showing respect for it, man. Myself like this. Yeah, that's better. Um, because. It's kind of like a, a trend at this point. People like Sneeko, Andrew Tate, but then even within rap, you got like a lot of the Chicago uh, BDs like Taysom. Yeah, well, what a great trend. What, well, lie, what, what a great trend. It's better than <laughs> it's better than doing porn as a trend. It's better than drugs and murder being a trend. I would take Dean as a trend any day. If that goes viral, mashallah, it's better for society. And it only happens because when the pendulum swings one way out of it, it always goes the other way. When it goes so far, celebrity worship, idol worship, drugs, porn, it has to go the other way. And people are yearning for something. People's souls are so empty that of course it's going to be a trend that people need God. Alhamdulillah. Savage and a little dark and stuff who are kind of 
getting into the the Muslim thing, like how how do you feel seeing people who don't really have like a connection to it discovering it? Is that is that dope for you as somebody who's been around I, your I whole life? I love it, bro. I love it. You know, I love all Muslims. I love everybody. We're all brothers. We're all brothers. Love Muslims speech and, and Islam. This guy's is love speech certified. Who? What's his name, Chad? There's no race. Mm. There's no race. We're all like one people, and we're like the slaves of God. And um, let's go. Who knows the stuff? Yeah, bro. You see that Islam is the fastest growing religion, and um. I don't think it would be for no reason. You see a lot of pastors converting to Islam, but you don't really see no sheikhs converting to Christianity. And if you do, ooh, ooh. you'll see like 10 we love pastors Christians. convert to Islam to that like one. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like it's the fastest growing religion. Yeah. Actually, you know what I saw in the Quran today? I was reading like for a couple hours today and I saw it actually says in the Quran that you're not supposed to debate with the Christians and Jews. Wallahi, it says in the Quran, you should not debate with Christians and Jews. What you should do is try to guide them is try to have an open heart because they're all people of the book. They're all people that have scripture. The Quran says that the gospel is scripture. The Quran says the Torah is scripture. We're not supposed to debate them. We're supposed to try to, to educate them and tell them that even Matthew said, Jesus prayed to God. If Jesus was God, why would he pray to God? He wouldn't need to. If Jesus died, how could God die? Things like that. We shouldn't go with a debating mindset, which is what love speech and that's why I'm banning religious debates. You shouldn't be doing that. It's important to, to educate though. But we, we love our Christians. We love our Jews, man. Uh, it's it's better that they, they believe in, in some sort of scripture rather than, than nothingness. Bro, I can't believe this. This is Nico. Shake Sneeko. You know? When... <laughs> I was watching this. Now I feel I'm a new Muslim, and Sneeko the Sheikh is a pro-Muslim, and he's te he's he's teaching us, bro. <laughs> it's kind of a weird thing, but no, bro. Alhamdulillah, we got like this brother, and now is he uh, Islam is growing, and yeah, may Allah bless him, and he is doing good work for Islam is making lots of interview about Islam and, and he's talking about Islam and lots of things that uh, that 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 make us very knowledgeable you know and yeah bro I love him right now I love him Sneko I love you if you were watching me yeah bro you are dub you you are like double sneaker bro you are g bro you are g a g mean in islam i think in arabic gadi who win the war yeah g you are not a gangster you are g bro you are gadi I'm, I'm i'm impressed may allah bless you and yeah for you brother i'm learning lots of things about islam and also about many things bro Mashallah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, Muslim in the chat.